there is this news that some IT firms in Karnataka have asked or submitted a proposal to the state government, which is basically a request to extend the employee working hours to 14 hours per day. Yes, so I'm reading from this article here, which says that the state government is actually considering to amend the Karnataka Shops and Commercial Establishments Act 1961. So the IT companies want their proposal to be included in this particular amendment, which would legally extend the working hours to 14 hours per day, 12 hours work plus 2 hours of overtime. So what does the current labor law permit? The current labor law actually permits 12 hours per day which is 10 hours plus 2 hours of overtime. So the new proposal by some companies says that employees in IT, ITES, BPO sector may be required or allowed to work more than 12 hours per day and not exceeding 125 hours in 3 continuous months. Alright, so the government is supposed to discuss this matter in a cabinet meeting. And obviously, there is a strong resistance from a lot of employees. So there is one more viewpoint that currently companies have three shifts. And now with this amendment coming in, if at all this comes, they'll be able to get the work done in two shifts. So basically, they are trying to reduce the staff of one entire shift. All right, so that's one way to look at it. But another way to look at it from my point of view is that it is clearly stretching employees beyond what is normal because now you want employees to come to office so you should not forget the kind of time they spend in the traffic so if you account for all of that the time spent in traffic the time spent at work and then the time they spend after they go home because in some cases they have to log in from home as well so it is anyway close to 12 plus hours even today. So if you now make it legally more than 12 hours, then this is going to be just like work, work, work with no other thing that you can even think of. And of course, it is going to result into health issues, into family issues and things like that. And if you're following the news, there was also some news that in Karnataka specifically, there was some bill proposed that Karnataka will only allow local people, kind of a reservation for local people and not for outsiders. So that is also something which may disrupt a lot of things if at all that comes into being. So while all of this is still being discussed, I think one thing which we definitely need to do is to diversify our income sources. A lot of people are actually also worried about the kind of uh, budget that will come and the kind of taxes we'll have to pay, whether it will go up or whether it will go down. But I think more than anything else, because there is also threat of AI taking your jobs and whatnot. I think only two things which we can or which we should focus on is A, how do we continuously invest on ourselves to build skills for the future? Which means how do we stay relevant in the market? We have discussed this a lot in our previous videos. And the second thing we should be very, very mindful of is how do you really diversify your income sources. So your salary is one source of income, but then how do you be smart with your finances, with the current money that you have? How do you utilize it in the proper way? Or how do you create more income sources? Because there are things which will happen outside your circle of influence, which means governments will take some decisions, companies will take some decisions, you can raise your voice, but you can't control those decisions. So that is outside your circle of influence. But if you have to act inside the circle of influence, what exactly can you do? What actions can you take? And one of those actions is to stay relevant. I've spoken to so many senior people, people who have 15 years, 20 years of experience, and now they are kind of struggling because they have been in that zone where they did not feel like learning new things, where they felt comfortable, they were earning enough. If they were not earning a lot, but they were earning enough to meet the end. So I think for 15, 20 years, they have survived. But now I think there is a lot of pressure coming from different corners. And that's why if we have to act within the circle of influence, where we can do things which will impact our lives, one is definitely continuous learning, skill upgrade and staying relevant. And second is, making sure that we earn from more than one sources and then when we earn, we invest it wisely or think wisely before we spend so that we don't 
end up in situations where we are pressurized by all these things happening in our surroundings. So let me know in the comments if you are reskilling or if you are diversifying your earnings. All right, I hope this makes sense to you. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to share it in your WhatsApp groups. I'll see you in another video soon. Take care and bye for now.